Hello everybody, it is Az here with Beast of War. We're back to talk some more about UK Games Expo with Richard, Tony and Justin joining us again. Hi, Hello guys. Hello. Um, we're going to focus today a little bit on some of the organised play stuff that's going on. So, not always competitive, but just the events and the goings on and things you can get involved with if you're heading to UK Games Expo and just the variety and the range that you guys have. I'm going to jump in with my favourite. I'm going to be the cheeky guy and I'm going to say FFG are FFG. massive at UK Games Expo. They have a huge amount of stuff going on. They, they do. do. They I'm, do. I, I'm not sure you're going to get away with not always competitive, though. Yes. Oh. <laughs> because the, or, the organised play is the competitive end. Of oh, it. so this yeah. is this is festive. Yeah. Cups. I this mean, is... we've we've got open gaming areas, yeah. etc. But this 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 stuff is is where you know the, the more serious end. But you know, there's a great demand for it, as you say, the FFG Europeans. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about driving your enemy before you and hearing the lamentations. Of <laughs> 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 you know, now you know what you're going to get in the rest yes. of this video. That's the scene then, okay. Um, so what, what are we going to see from the Europeans with FFG? So the European Championships, yeah. this is part of their build-up from stores to regionals to nationals to Europeans to worlds. Like, this is a, a key part of their calendar. Yes, yes. yes. There, there, there are, I think, three or four continentals. Yeah. So there's the US one, and then this is the European mm -hmm. one. Um, so yeah, this is this is sort of you know their their top level tournament. Mm -hmm. So do you want to run through what we got? Yeah. So we got Android Netrunner. Yeah. That was a very popular event. Uh, X Wing, a uh, huge <laughs> event. X Wing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we've already sold out of that, and we're extending the number of seats in that simply because we've sold out. How many people have come to that? So we had we had, we'd sold four hundred uh, tickets for it. So we've now increased to five hundred. But at least they're, uh, they're moving it yeah. to. Two days, now. Two days spilling yeah. up so, a little bit more. So cause... there are two. You could you could either go through the qualifying rounds yeah. on the Friday or the Saturday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think that's to do you know, just with we we've run four to five hundred players simultaneous yeah. of tournaments of X. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, the 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 largest in the world, I think it was, on one day. That is. But the logistics of oh, doing man. that um, make it very prone that if anything goes wrong yeah. in yeah. terms of the computer software, mm -hmm. etc then the run-ons become yeah. tiring for the players and it's a poor experience. So I, I, I believe, and I'm slightly guessing here, because mm -hmm. they, they've submitted the structure sure. to us and, that's what, and I, I think that's what they, they were doing, is by splitting it into two, now you're looking at 200 to 300 gotcha. in a day. Mm -hmm. And that makes, but you can only go for one or the other. Okay. So you can't go Friday, Mm -hmm. Yeah, crash everything and burn, and then go. I'll just sneak in on the Saturday. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. you, you've technically submitted. So you've got to pick one day or the other. Yeah. But it does give you the other day to do something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See the rest of the show. And then the uh, final on the Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, it is a nice way of doing it, and I mean, with X-Wing, which is probably their biggest, but you've also got Star Wars Destiny, you've also got Netrunner, which are huge at the moment still. Yep. Your smaller ones like Armada, Imperial Assault, uh, the Star Wars LCG, and then you've also got Game, Game of Thrones, Thrones, of course. Yes. Um, so you, you're going to have to pin your hat to a mask with yes. these competitive things. That you, you can't be competitive in everything, um, but with FFG alone, there's a vast array. There's also the Grand Cody, which yes. is... A, which uh, is... Uh, now, we were chatting about this earlier, yes. because yeah. I've seen some of the footage of what these look like, and these, to me, are almost the pinnacle of story and energy um, infused with a competitive event, because it's very much pride for your clan. It's, it's Legend of the Five Rings, it's Dragon Clan, it's Korean Clan, it's Lion Clan, and it's all very much chanting and bellowing. and, and, us, well, and I, Apparently, that's what we've learned this afternoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we know how much floor space they need yeah. and how many chairs and many tables, tables and, and what electrics we need yeah. to run in. Am I so perfect? <laughs> well, now we're aware. Because yeah. <laughs> we'll that... have to move them a little bit. Well, when I mentioned, you know, obviously not being too competitive necessarily, that kind of event to me, even if you're not trying to win it, even if you're not spending 10 hours a day. Frantic just the experience. Thing, just the experience oh, yes. of going yeah. and being around yeah. 399 other people who are enthused by the game that you're yeah. I mean, I know about. Alex Watkins, who who's uh, head of that organised yeah. play, um, is going to put on a, a great event mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, he, he's so committed to both the products and the communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and sometimes that may not come through mm -hmm. because people get quite narrow focused mm -hmm. and etc. But I, I, I know Alex very well and I know he's passionate mm -hmm. about the people who play and those communities yeah. and getting the best for it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and as it is with with all business, he's you know, he's got a boss and yeah. and he, he has to, to, to work things how, how he works them. But I know at heart he is an absolute game player. Yeah. Things you know, I mean, you know, I know that after work they're they're down there playing games mm -hmm. and doing drafts yeah. and all sorts, you know. Mm -hmm. So he is a game player at heart, and I know that he will put on a fantastic. The last mm -hmm. European was was great, yeah. 
and this European and the Grand Cote, which we're really excited to have, mm -hmm. you know, as that new event and seeing what it's going to be like. And I know it will be a great experience. Yeah. Like I, I must say. admit, like, I, I've got a lot of experience with the competitive events, especially UK Games Expo. I actually skived off a couple of hours early. I finished my shift <laughs> earlier than I was meant to, and I was supporting yeah. uh, FFG there. So I could go and see the Android Netrunner European Championships finish. And one of my Irish friends actually won it. And oh. getting to be there, not even competing, not being there for the whole event, just being there for the final. Which, the atmosphere yeah. was like nothing else it's very as we've talked about the hall has a very different atmosphere to the hilton where you can role play but the organized play area almost has a different atmosphere a murmur yeah. a kind of that yeah. low hum of concentrated energy that's and, and really punctuated by odd moments of despair yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the one from this list <laughs> sobbing <laughs> the one from this list that has me super curious mm -hmm. is the the star wars destiny one i'm very curious to see what the competitive builds are for that game you know, to actually see oh, yeah. what heroes oh, they're going to mix I and what. Uh... I've got so many dice and cards. Yeah. <laughs> but it, All I've got to do now is get a friend to play it with. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to come over to Ireland once in a while? I'd, I'd be happy to play. Um, I'll, I'll have a word with the wife. So I'm just going to go and play Destiny. I'll be three days. <laughs> <laughs> Other card games, though, you're hopefully going to have some WizKids events. So if you're yeah. into your Dice Masters or you're into. Yeah, I mean, one of the things we've got, I mean, which is organised play, which actually is competitive, but not at this, is we've got a lot of on-demand draft events. Yes, yeah. So you've got the Battle Royales mm -hmm. with Wiz Kids Hero Clicks. You've got um, uh, Magic Mike at Magic Madhouse is putting together at, the, at present a whole load of booster draft mm -hmm. events and yes. it's working with Wizards to see if there'll be some sanctioned events we've, there. We've had an introduction to draft with Light Seekers and the, the, um, the itch to do more drafting has definitely been put into the office. <laughs> yes, yeah. well, we've, we've got Light Seekers, we've got VS2. Yes, so there's going to be a whole raft mm -hmm. in there. You've got an hour, yeah. or if you me, 15 yeah. minutes, because uh, that's what I'm like at Magic. So I go, <laughs> first round, I'm out. Okay. I've got some really pretty cards. Yeah. Just for the don't work together. You've got five colours there. <laughs> so whole load of booster yeah. draft events. Um, and with those, you'll just be able to go in, you buy a ticket off mm -hmm. our event desk, which will be in the middle of the hall. Yeah. You then go swap it for the boosters mm -hmm. and the entry, mm -hmm. you know, and, and if if you do that thing, sometimes we're like, we buy a ticket and you, there's not enough people, mm -hmm. we'll just refund the ticket for you. Okay. Yeah. So you, you, there's no risk for you there. Yeah. But lots of those on-demand events firing off with people. So you can go and have an hour of this without having to spend your weekend or a day. That's just right. Or you or just sit there all weekend in yeah. your pants, just playing <laughs> booster drafts. <laughs> I've seen it happen. It's, it's, it's not that rare, actually. It's not that pretty, yeah. but it does happen. It's <laughs> like, it's like I've said, every <laughs> time are conditional game on. <laughs> Although, out of these, I would love to play the, the Light Seekers one. I know yes. we're going to be working all weekend, but I would love to jump in on that one. Yeah, we've had, we've had a, a real good time with the Play Fusion guys when they, when they yeah. came to visit us, and it's a very energetic light fun game that just has a real, yeah, they've a real got a positive big atmosphere. stand near the front as well yeah. Yeah. They? Oh, so nice. you'll, you'll spot them they're, they're just nice. in the sort of second tier behind them. the sponsors yeah. Yeah. Um, so if card gaming and sort of FFG stuff's not my cup of tea what else have we got available to us historical miniatures historical miniatures so the British Historical Game Society have their, a number of their, mm -hmm. their events uh, so we've got Bolt Action uh, we've got uh, the Field of Glory da, Bolt uh, Action's nice to see yeah, Field of well, Glory's yeah. not one I've played or not but uh, it's not played 15 yet. mil um, I must admit it's not one that I'm super mm. familiar with right? but it's, it's one that I'm sure most other conventions would just overlook unless they're historically specific or something like Salute mm. or something like that so yeah. it's really nice to see you guys including that yeah, yeah I mean the, well, the guys from British Historical came and asked if they could run it and we said yeah. well if you've got people who want to play it yeah. as we yeah. say we'll put it on yeah. Fantastic. so um, yeah so they, they've got a whole range of, of tournaments yeah. and then um, of course, Games Workshop, major mm -hmm. sponsors this year. Yeah. Very excited to have them along, as we are with all of our sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to do a Shadespire Grand Clash. Exactly. Tickets Ooh. available on nice. the site at the moment. Right. Yeah. And that, because Games Workshop have really gotten behind the organised play stuff with Shadespire. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just the, the trophies and the prizes they're starting to show off now that you can get. I have, must admit, I haven't seen the trophies for this yeah. one yeah. yet. Check your local shops for regionals and stuff yeah. and shop stuff. So yeah. go along and support your shops. This one's going to be huge. Are you talking about seeing what the meta is going to be like? Yeah, the that's going to be a curious one. Three, four months as it builds up to the start of June, and we have this event. It's going to be a because the game's so new, yeah. and we're just seeing yeah. two new clans come yeah. out. So, definitely have to stop off with the guys at GW yep. just to see what the latest and greatest is from them and what their plans are for organized. You're play not going like to be able that. to miss them when you walk into the hall. No, they're right there. Do you want to know what that means? It means I don't have to walk so far from the office for the edit. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but we've moved your office. Oh, no. <laughs> Have we been put into the toilets? <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Because oh, they, they had a lovely stand last year. And yeah. It was great to see them there. It was great to see them bring 40k and yeah. 8th edition for the first time. Yeah. Um, I 
I, I don't think we've heard anything about what they could be releasing yet. Yeah. Although, I, if I get the chance, I might talk to that same demo or guy that I had last year for 8th edition. He had such energy. Do you remember his name? We'll link you up. Oh, no, I can't remember. Right. If you demoed to Justin last year in the Games Workshop stand, please drop us a comment below and we'll link you and you guys can have another brew date. Give me a shout. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> UK Games Expo. Dating. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a whole new area. Um, you've also got Infinity. So yeah. if you so if historic yes. you think there's also other miniatures as well. And uh, Bushido, uh, the Grandmasters, which is a samurai. Yes, um, that's cool. Fantasy, uh, so uh, a little bit of everything for the miniatures <laughs> hobby that's yeah. out there. Oh yes. Um, I want to. I want to. I would feel remiss if I didn't talk about board games a little bit. Absolutely. Because last year I was actually lucky enough to be one of the judges for the, the final of the pandemic um, team championship for yeah. the UK, which was just epic. And you're doing it again this year, but because it's so popular, yeah. you're doing two qualifiers this yeah. year for yeah. this? so there are two qualifiers, one on the Friday, one on the Saturday, yeah. with the final on, on the Sunday. Um, so I think there's 12 teams each day, so mm -hmm. doubled the number of seats effectively. Uh, these go alongside regional qualifiers, yep. installs and things. So there'll be, well, we'll have a couple, of, couple of the seats, mm -hmm. as it were, from last chance to yep. qualify type events at the expo. This isn't for you, uh, Tony. This is cooperative gaming. Cooperative this is not your. <laughs> Although it's only it's two players, two teams of two. two. So oh, you can just one too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, no. What you do is you get like a, a life-size cutout of someone and just put it beside. There's my teammate. Or I could just he move, agrees I could just move seats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that requires effort. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> pandemic, the pandemic event, sorry, is a very interesting one for me because it's it's cooperative, but you only have, can talk for a very short period of time, and then you're not allowed to talk to each other more anymore, yeah. and you have to make all your decisions and what you're doing to see if the. So planet. you can play it with people you don't like much. Yeah, just do that. You know, two's your tall than them. <laughs> and the, if you do win that, if you might, if you do fancy taking part, like manage to win it, you're getting trips all around the world. Oh, yeah. I believe. Yeah, I think events. it was like Milan last year or Madrid. Yeah. I can't remember. It was it was summer in a lovely sunny space yes. where the world championships oh yes place. i mean for a lot um, of these tournaments yeah. the prizes are you know Catan, I mean, go onto yeah. the site and you'll see so yeah we've got Catan world finals yeah. nice um so qualify it's just sorry this is the qualifier for the world finals to potentially win a, a, a trip to go to the finals yes yep. um, you've got carcassonne which is trip to Essen. Yep. you've got ice call Get a fridge. Or <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 beer fridge. I don't know why it's cool, yeah, yeah. But if you're listening, a beer fridge would be a great prize. It yes. really would ship happy shoot like a penguin, though, wouldn't yeah. it? Like, yeah. Or you'd have to, the penguin door fridge. handle even would be great. I'll pretty much buy anything that's shaped like a penguin, to be honest. Yeah. I love penguins. Well, I'm coming straight to Wyvern's Den with a <laughs> penguin shaped game and we're going to yeah. sell it to Tony. Oh, back. I bought Ice Cool because it had a penguin in it. <laughs> um, if anyone not familiar, Ice Cool is the, 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 the flicking penguin the round penguins. a school chasing and dashing game. It's just the, such good fun, isn't it? it yes. It's, <laughs> of everything we've talked about so far, it could not be the lightest, most energetic yes. fun that literally anyone who can see you over the top of a table could take part in and, if, and just enjoy. If, if this is going organised play, it's going to be totally cutthroat. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's kind of like Subutio <laughs> meets. Uh, children's cartoons and penguins. It's going to be especially depressing for those adults who get beaten by a seven-year-old. Oh, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Seven -year -old just because the seven-year-old just spent a year flicking this penguin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, th this is why I generally like to carry a miniaturized table with me, so I can just put it beside me, and then if I lose, it's just mini table flip. Flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've also got Agricola, which yep. is just if you're into your Euro games, something a bit dry or something with a bit of depth of strategy. But even if you're just getting into board games, the likes of Ticket to Ride has Ticket it. Ride, Seven Wonders. Yep. Uh, Dominion yep. if you're into your, your card games but in a in a board game in a more enclosed format. The board game options there are again or as vast as everything else. There's stuff yeah. for very simple, straightforward. You could actually walk up and learn it within five minutes and then take mm. part. Or there's stuff there that you could be practicing all your years, like yes. Agricola, Carcassonne, and Catan. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Those, those, those have a few people who I'm pretty sure are probably quite cut through. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. I trade you a sheep for a wood. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. It is dog eat dog. Yeah. 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 Any big highlights this year when it comes to organised play or last year? Anything that. It, we only haven't mentioned actually is a whole RPG. Um, Ooh. You know, Cthulhu slice, Masters. Um, which is things like Cthulhu oh. Masters. Yes, we are, again, um, Kaze and we're going to run the Cthulhu Masters mm -hmm. for us. So, um, competitive role playing game is one of those areas of contention. Yeah. Because certain role this players, this is new one to me. Yeah. Now, well, certain role players don't think you should have competitive. Because mm -hmm. how do you judge who's won? Yeah. Um, Last one alive. Actually, I've I've seen it done at least once at a local event. Uh, actually, the the way the judges went for it was they actually decided upon who was playing the character the best, who yeah. was actually creating funny story moments. You know, those watercolor moments you're going to talk to you about afterwards. I actually did win one once. Yes. It was actually. Uh, Oh, what was the the one with the the computer and the communist mutants? Uh yes, paranoia. Yes. Oh, well done. Yes, I played competitive paranoia, 
I was actually playing the leader of the group, and at one point our entire group had been completely racked. I hadn't read my character sheet, and we were looking around going, who's the medic? Surely someone's the medic. The GM's sitting there going, look, I definitely put a medic in here, and I'm sitting there going, who is the goddamn medic? I was the medic. <laughs> so you, you didn't win that competitive role-playing thing? I, 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 no, I, I did win. You you one did win? I did win just because the GM thought it was hilarious that I played the character perfectly, and, and that's, that's how why you did. That that there's a dispute because lots of people go, he should have been lost. <laughs> <laughs> However, I didn't the, 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 the Kaboom Masters have their own sort of internal voting system. Yeah. They're usually great scenarios mm-hmm. and great prizes. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you're it, you've just got to go as a bit of fun. Yeah. 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 And I think yes. if you if you if you play the best and you you know you really have a mm-hmm. great time. Then you you know you'll probably end up yeah. winning that and but it's that it, it's a it's a great area to play. If you if you're playing in a role playing group every week or month, yes, and you're doing the same thing as as those of us love to do and evolving a campaign over years, this is just giving you the system you love, but a little bit of a different take on it, which is always nice to to refresh the palette somewhat. Yeah, it's, it's, in fact, this is isn't specifically just about tournaments. Mm-hmm. It's because it's organised play generally. So in the in the broader sense, the role playing mm-hmm. game schedule that we've got is mm-hmm. certainly one of the largest. You know, in the whole in the UK, Correct. Uh, I don't know how many uh, how many hundreds. Of I think seats I think it. well, it's it's it, it's it's well over a thousand seats yeah. wow. over the three days. For so you there to are play. just dozens of systems, mm-hmm. any conceivable role playing system you could think of uh, is there, and then some big events, so such as the Cthulhu yeah. Masters, the D and D Epic, the Pathfinder ones, but a lot of individual ones. So it's mm-hmm. a chance to play something you've you've never played yeah. before. And we we had talked about it previously, but I want to mention it again, that you do have the exclusive Pathfinder scenario that will yep. be a, a unique thing, just yes. this event. So it's own kind of Pathfinder type of organized society. play almost. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. the only, only, only way you can yeah. do it. Personally, it's a tough one for me. I once played Vampire Masquerade with seven other people. The house was on fire. They had to decide how we're going to get out. And they threw my body out the window because the yeah. second floor let me land on the ground and die so they could jump out and land on my Seems body and have a soft landing. <laughs> It's and a, your objection was? It's a killer world. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it's cutthroat, man. Don't those, well, those rules. Well, that's the, that's the love, though, isn't it? Of, yeah. of RPGs at conventions yeah. is you'll do pretty much anything to keep your character alive <laughs> on a on a weekly session. Or yeah, yeah. But a, at a, at a, an RPG convention, yeah, it oh, man, it's, it's it's everything to the wind. I mean, I yeah. I remember I played in the Cthulhu once years ago at uh, Gen Con UK, mm-hmm. where. Um, I died in the first 15 minutes. <laughs> and the GM just took me inside and said, are you happy just to play the character if I just slip you notes to tell you what to do so they don't know you're dead? And I went, oh, all, all right, right. That, that sounds great. And we got all the way through the adventure, and in the end, we defeated the monster, or they thought they had, yep. stood in the cellar, up to our knees in water, yep. with one of those big electrical switches. Yeah. And the GM went, just... You know what to do. <gasps> <laughs> Everybody went up, and I remember one player going, "You ruined it, dude! I'm dead." I said, "I've been dead for three and a half hours." <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, one of the best Cthulhu ones I ever heard of was it was a lighthouse scenario, where they had been sent in to find out what was wrong with the lighthouse. One yeah. of them was playing a nurse, and the nurse went a little bit wibbly, and so the nurse there were no weapons built into this campaign scenario, so the nurse went around killing people with morphine overdoses. Oh no, you're hurt! Oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't want to be involved in the dice rolls that have to be involved in that. That's a bit dark for me. But, um, there's, but there's plenty to play there. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. uh, and don't miss it because it's at the Hilton. Yeah. Mm. So do go onto the website. Mm-hmm. You'll see, I think every Friday now, mm-hmm. John, our RPG manager, is putting on whatever's new this week. Yeah. Because yeah. we'll get 10, 15, 20 mm-hmm. scenarios yeah. coming on. Uh, rather than them put on at random times, mm-hmm. I think on Friday evening... Um, I'll, I'll check with him, make sure it's put on the website sure. there. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll update all of those. So you gotcha. can go on once a week and go, what, what's new? Yes, yeah. I fancy that, that, and that. Mm-hmm. Get some mates together. Go and make some friends. Because yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, there's no better way of making <laughs> friends at, at, at a, a, a games convention than playing in a role playing game. Mm. Absolutely. Hunt could not agree more. And like, yeah, don't get if, if you go and you see an event and it's full, don't get downhearted because there could be a new one added any any day. Yeah. As as yeah. things fill up, more and more will happen. Oh yes, and, so and also and on, and on the day. Yeah. Uh, our app, by the way, has a special RPG system built in. Okay. Um, that we we tested some of it last year. Mm-hmm. We're going to run it this year, and it's like airplane boarding. Mm-hmm. Okay, so when the GM arrives, he's not going to charge me fifty quid to pick a seat, are you? No, no, <laughs> but thirty quid for your bag. I have to three, three <laughs> quid for three quid for the bathroom. <laughs> so it's like tenner for each poly die. <laughs> so, so what you do with this is it's like an airport boarding. So the GM will scan in when he arrives. Mm-hmm. So on the board, it'll tell you boarding. Okay. So you know your GM's at the table. Ah. You then go along, get your ticket out, hand it over. Yep. He'll scan that into the app. Yeah. 
and that tells our system mm -hmm. how many arrives. So if you've got a couple of no-shows, mm -hmm. which often happens, too many beers, too yep. many role-playing, don't turn <laughs> up, you're in a game where you thought there were six, now there's four, okay? When the GM goes, right, we're 10 minutes over, he'll put final call mm -hmm. on the app, and that will go back to the to, to the main ticket desk, and you'll be able to see final call, two tickets, and you can scoop Ooh, in and pick cool. those up. That is really That's a very good idea. Yeah, because yeah. there is nothing worse than being all excited for an event and then you're the only person that turned up. At least now you're okay. guaranteed. So we're doing our best just to to, to, that, to right? work ways of, of making that happen. Yeah, because it's no good. Because you've had the GM walking all the way back to the ticket there, and it's yeah. too much of a pain. Mm -hmm. So by doing this, that way you go final call, pick those couple of tickets up, leg it along to the room, and you're ready to go. Well, if you need someone to do that really annoying microphone call thing, I'm right in there. I'm a, that's, know, I'm that's the it. very thing we're trying to avoid. <laughs> <laughs> that whole. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> final boarding that, call I've, for I've, Call of Cthulhu, I've, final boarding oh, call. I've, I've, I've seen that. I know there's conventions mm. that do that, that have the, the marshal. Mm. And it and it works with a hundred folk. Mm. But at the expo, when at oh, 8 o'clock the slot yeah. is perhaps 700 role players. Yeah. That, that Absolutely. So, it, so it's yeah, slightly more sophisticated. It takes, it takes yeah. the immersion, doesn't it? If yeah, you're sitting in a game and you have that going over a tannoy or something. I, I kind of feel sorry for your staff who are holding those two tickets because they might just get bum-rushed by like 20 people just going, me! No, it's okay. They're, we, 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 they're cheap. We can replace oh, them. Right, okay. they're, they're volunteers, so we, we okay. keep a couple of spare. Yeah. Okay, so you've just <laughs> got a couple of life model decoys out back. <laughs> Plus, you got you got webinar fancy training for the folk these days. They're all prepared to deal yes. with a mace, someone like an aggravated role player. Just, yeah, come on. They're all you're all prepared for it. It's, no, no, it's your all the volunteers with no, if, it, if, if it's an aggravated role player, just grab a bucket full of D4s, put it out in front of you. They'll not oh, get it. Oh, D4s. Worse than all Lego and oh, meals. All, all those old jacks you used to get. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Oh. Pick up sticks and all that. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm not going to lie. If you had to ask me to take part in something right now, I would probably still go FFG, but I think I would get knocked out in the first day and be straight to the role-playing sessions. <laughs> I think it sounds like a great event. Yeah. Um, but look, thank you guys. Let us know what organized play you're thinking about. Have a look at the website. Make sure to check it regularly leading up to June, because when the event goes, there'll be so much to take part in. You don't want to miss something that you may really love. So we'll be back again soon with some more updates on the stuff going on at UK Games Expo. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now, and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming let's plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.